Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time we'll talk about using the Safety Monitor app in Hubitat. There are a variety of ways this can be used. In this first installment of the series, we will look at the dome leak sensor and the dome siren to alert you to when you're having water problems in the basement. Now, I do want to take a moment to thank the folks at Dome for sending me several devices from their catalog to show how they can be used with the Hubitat device. This video is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. Now let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to have to do is get the sensors set up first. So that, that's a small but very important part. Then we'll get to adding the safety monitor and we'll just take it one step at a time. So we'll switch back over here to the desktop or my, my overhead camera. Now this is the leak sensor and the siren. The leak sensor actually has about three pieces to it. It has a small clip that you can say mount on the wall and then it has contact areas where the sensor points will be able to pick up water. Now I like doing mounting this like up on a wall because I'd rather not have to replace the sensor and especially and I've had some water problems in the past that I wish this had been available at the time that by the time I got down there this sensor probably would have been underwater. So I really would have not had to, would have preferred not to replace it. So that's where you've got the little remote sensor. And if you go here to the little clip base that's with it, that just plugs in here on the side. And then when you put the dome leak sensor in there, then this way, this is the part that's going to get wet, not this. So we'll take this back out for just a moment. And we'll open it up, take the top off. Now they do send this with a safety tab to keep the battery from being used up before it gets to you. So what we will do is go down here into devices and we'll click on discover devices. And these are both well, this is this is Z-Wave, so but they're both Z-Wave. So we'll tap on Z-Wave, and we will pull the tab on the battery. So it should okay. Just select Discovery Mode. Okay, well, okay, found devices. So it's it should see it here in just a moment, and it's all depending on when it goes through its little process. And, and as you've seen before on some of these, it doesn't sometimes always find it. Well, it took a little bit of doing. Uh, I think my sensor may have been, my leak sensor may have been a little confused. So what I had to go in and do is I'd first tried pulling the battery and letting it sit for a bit and putting it back in. That didn't help. I tried putting it into inclusion mode. That didn't help. And if you haven't seen many of my videos, if it's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong with me. So what I finally had to go do, and this is where having the instructions handy for this, it does is there's not a page number, but what I had to go do is on the next to the last page, I had to go to restoring the leak sensor to factory default settings. Once I did that, then, as you can see, it came right up so we will just call this oh something fancy like leak sensor and we'll tap save and we'll go back here to devices and see now we see dome leak sensor okay so that that is as it should be. So now we'll set this little guy aside. And oh, and by the way, I did go ahead and try this. And I just wetted my finger and it, 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 it was enough to get it triggered. I've got a little 
uh, test vat of, of water here. So I just, but I wanted to make sure that that part was doing what it needed to do. So now we will go on to working with the siren. So we'll go through and I've actually got it, well, had it almost opened up here. And now this one's got two CR20, uh, CR123 batteries in it. So we'll just pull the tab. Well, all right, we'll just do, oh, okay. So you basically got to pull the, okay. So those are just safety, or not safety, but they're just tabs to get those in there and while i've got this open let's double check the manual novel concept like who reads the manual on this kind of stuff it should just work right folks but anyway since we ran into a little problem with the leak sensor i'm gonna go through and look here real quick pry off that to connect button three times okay so there's a pattern to this and thank you folks at dome for being consistent on on your implementation so we will go here and I will put the battery in and we will go to discover Z-Wave, start Z-Wave inclusion, one, two, whoops, one, two, three. And guess what? Found it right away. Novel concept. You follow the directions and it works. So we will put this on here and then we will just type label we'll just call it dome siren and eventually i may have more than one siren i haven't really decided yet but i'm definitely going to be putting this probably in the basement and let's go back over here to devices and hit that tab again and as you can see it says dome siren, leak sensor. Okay, so we're one step closer to getting these little gems to work together. So now what we're going to do is actually go through and set up the uh, safety monitor function or safety monitor app in, in Hubitat. So let's go over here and we'll go app and... Let it refresh. I'll add a built-in app. And if we scroll down here, then it will let us see. Safety monitor should be down here in the bottom. Okay, well, rules machine mode. I probably went right past it. There, hubs, hub head safety monitor. Oh, here we go. I keep forgetting. You can't see the screen I'm seeing. So... So it's Habitat Safety Monitor. I was looking for just Safety Monitor, but I understand from a branding standpoint. So we'll tap that, and it will get started. So configure Habitat Safety Monitor. All right, so it knows about we've got the sensor for water there. So we'll tap on that, and then tap on Click to Set, and we'll tap on leak sensor and we'll update. Uh, now, here's the interesting thing, and I, I'm gonna have to bring a professional plumber in because I wanna do this one right. I also know where to stop and doing stuff around the house. The folks at Dome were very gracious to send me the auto, auto shutoff valve. Now, I am gonna have to bring a plumber in because I've got the old turn handle and the device they sent and apparently the newer houses have this where you have a lever that you move. And that's what the the dome water shutoff piece is set up for. So I'm going to bring in a plumber. I, I know at what point not to do something. So I'm going to let them deal with it, right? Because they may have to shut the water off the house or we may put the new shutoff valve uh, downstream of the current one. I mean, I like having safety, I uh, mean, failover situations. So, but I'll leave that up to the plumber because after all, he's the one who's gone to school and he's the professional on it. So let's get back over here and we've got that set up and siren alerts. All right. And select siren. We'll say dome siren now. Oh, so they have a strobe function available. All right. Well, but we'll just say siren at this point and lighting alerts. Hey, let's you 
that's always good there. So you can sit there and turn on lights too. Now this this is slick. So that way if you happen to be in a part of the house where the siren is not maybe easily heard, say you're out in a garage and you got the engine running because you're working on your vehicle. Having a light flash is a nice safety mechanism. Also, for those that are hearing impaired, having a light flash is another good thing. So this makes this a great thing to have to use in almost any situation. So we'll say we'll click done with light alerts and done with water alerts. OK, so at this point, you see on the uh, we've got water detector, leak sensor and alerts, dome siren. And it would be nice if you could have it do a chirp, but I can see why or, or a chime rather. But, it, it, you know, if, it's, if this is all you can do, then then that's fine. And we will click done with Hubitat safety monitor. And now let's put this back in the little uh, clip that we showed earlier. Well, let's get it in here to where we can. And I will bring up my test water source. And now what we should have happen. Okay. Okay, I think we've proven that that, that works. Now that we've given it the, the device the case of the shut up, it's obvious this works. So lessons learned on this one. The this one to in order to get it to pair, I had to do a factory reset on and that just could have been because of the way I was pressing the the connect button I might have gotten it confused I you know I'll take responsibility that I probably did something wrong because they everything I've seen to the dome devices so far that they're great and this one just worked right out of the gate so you can see they're using the CR123 batteries and these are uh, the the lithiums so I'll have to look in the manual to see if there's anything specific as to uh, how long they're expected to last. Of course, I would say the more they get triggered, the longer, the less that they will last. But this is something that would be handy to have. I don't know you, you'll need to order batteries right away, but having something that, you know, you could periodically, you should replace them. And but we'll have to look at that one. If I don't see anything readily in here, I'll reach out to the folks at Dome. And we will see what we can uh, find out for you. And I'll have that in a later video. So that's got us taken care of for now. You've seen how all that works. And basically, we'll just go back here into the Hubbard Set Safety Monitor. And you can see that it's set up for leak sensor. And it gives you all sorts of good information in here. Probably way more than, than one might need. So this is... You know, we can go in and modify it. You can add custom uh, alerting on it so that you can have it flash a light, which is nice, it's again, for the hearing impaired. So that is is very handy. And there may even be another way. If it, well, I'll have to figure out if we can fr trigger a set of dry contacts with it because that way you know, there might even, you, you could set up a different type of alerting or we'll see if we can figure out how to send, get it to send an email. Anyway. Very interesting things to work with. And as you can see, this is something that is very easy to set up. It just took the leak sensor a little bit more, and that was probably my fault. Well, that brings us to the end of this particular video. We're going to have more in this series because, folks, there is a lot you can do with this, and it's already become evident that we're going to have to do quite a few more videos. So you're going to see videos to the right or to the left of me that are the next steps to this one you've just been watching or other content that I have produced. If this video has helped you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.